Good morning from Overland Expo West. All three of us yep. are ready to go check out the sites. Yeah. I don't even know what all we're going to see. Exactly. Uh, well, we covered Overland Expo East in November and now I guess welcome to the vlog of Overland Expo West 2019. Shelby doesn't mind this uh, method of travel. <laughs> At 17, I think she's earned a ride. Well, I'd say we have arrived and all the uh, vendors are set up. Nice turnout. Uh, Expo West is far larger in uh, participation and uh, visitors. All right, so we have the good microphone on today, but there is wind and we're gonna do our best to protect you from it. All right, this is a little personal. I don't think I've ever actually shared it but on the channel. we've personal about we our cassette <laughs> toilet before. <laughs> One of the problems we have with our wet bath is having a place for the toilet paper. It does not have a home. And we were walking through the vendor section and saw hula hoop, which is you can hang it anywhere you want with this hook, move it all around, and you put your toilet paper on it. Yeah, you hang it around your neck while you're doing your business. <laughs> well, you can do that if you want to. I'll hang it on the hook. Oh, but. okay. <laughs> this is totally awesome. I love this. Well, day two of uh, Overland Expo West is starting off in the media room, uploading a vlog for you guys of our uh, mishaps and journeys on our uh, approach here to Flagstaff. But the uh, lunch today is brought to you by Pelican, and uh, they're giving us these awesome ruck cases. Like there's all kinds of little utility things in here and a new water bottle. This is like really cool, very professional here at Overland Expo uh, West this year. That was horribly embarrassing. That's all right. This is take two actually. I did not hit record and I really- Did you record this time? I heard it. Are we recording? This is actually, okay. no, this is take three okay. because the first- Did he? We're good. All right. All right. The first time he did it, our heads were cut off, and then he didn't hit record. Yep, but that, yes. that is real. Yeah. yeah. I have a saying, imperfection equals authenticity on vlogs. Okay. If you're too polished, too perfect, it goes into TV show commercials. Yeah, true. And I am happily flawed. Well, I have a similar saying, which is done is better than perfect. Yes, yep. exactly. So if you don't know him already, Joe and Kate, we're the Russos. Hey guys. Old friends, we all hit the road together. Um, various starting points, uh, Southern California and Alaska in 2015. And it's been quite a journey. Yeah, we met him late 2015. We are crossing paths. Rebecca wasn't there at the time. And we actually didn't meet Rebecca until last year at Overland East. 2018. Yeah. 2018. Three years later. But that's the way the road goes. Beck was on a work trip. Yeah. So, you know, that's just life. Yeah. And we have been on the road together, guys, for like coming up on four years. Uh, yeah. Serious road warrior status. Yeah. Along. yeah, not everybody makes it that long. I don't know if the beast will make it that long. <laughs> well, speaking of the beast, uh, you know, congratulations on hitting 100,000 subscribers. Thank you. And okay, that's still recording. I got nervous there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, the transition to your next whatever it is, and the beast is kind of fun in the interim. And it proves a point here. It doesn't matter what you're in as long as you are out. Yes. And enjoying life. That's exactly. That it's yeah. not about brand names, flash. If you're a road warrior and a nomad, it's right here. If you turn the key and the engine starts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Absolutely. Well, it's always nice running into more friends. We've got How's it going? Chris Travels all the way back from the beginning of our YouTube life. This guy has been there. Yeah, YouTube, it's a trip. Yep. So I'm here filming for Tiny Home Tours, my other YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah, so got the Off Grid Schoolie and Tiny Home Tours. Make sure you check those out. But we're here at the GXV booth. Mike Renee and Renee produce some really amazing vehicles here. So when it comes to overlanding, this rig right here, the door's yeah. shut right now. But if, if I got an overland vehicle and I wanted to travel the world in, that setup in there, that, that whole setup right there has been the best that I've ever seen. Yeah. They have some amazing vehicles here. It is. There's even more extreme compromises with space. Mm -hmm. You know, as the 13 foot box, it's hard, but we don't have to think before we park. It's true. So it's this love hate relationship. Well, I'm. I was just saying I'm gonna be heading back to my bus that's in a parking lot because it's too big to yeah. even get in here. 
I think 35 feet was the uh, the max. Yeah. So it's one of those things. It's it's give and take. So definitely seeing these rigs makes me appreciate smaller spaces and how they do them. So this is also a very dog friendly event, and let's give a little shout out. A lot of people know Copa down there. Say hi, Kobe. How you doing, buddy? He's a good boy. All right, well, it's been nice running into old friends, but we made a new friend here at the show, Travis Travels, and he's got a Tesla that he's turning into an Overland machine. Yep. And what's also interesting, which got our attention, because we're always interested in new things in the uh, world of social media, you're a tw on Twitch. Yes. Is it a Twitcher? A live streamer. A live streamer. Yes. Have you guys heard of Twitch and do you think we would do well on it? So I'm trying to convince them to switch over to live streaming on Twitch. Well, we may not switch over, we may compliment. Okay, start giving you guys additional behind the scenes footage of how stinky he really is when it's not edited, or how good his cooking is when you're walking by at midnight. And it has smell a vision too? Yeah, uh, kinda. Kinda? It could. I guess the mind is powerful. If you have enough donations, we can have <laughs> smell a vision Well, hey, let's get to your vehicle here, sure. dude. Well, so you can see here, we're definitely in the prototype phase. We've uh, built out a, a frame and then we wrapped it and um, drove it here 2,300 miles, checking mileage versus... Uh, <laughs> and there's drop, the drop Tesla in, logo. Yep, drop in range and it was a 29% reduction in range and then we did some more modifying and now we're down to 23% reduction in range. And what we've learned is we're gonna have to have the whole back curved. So aerodynamics. For aerodynamics. So we're gonna be going to a um, boat builder now and we're doing it all out of carbon fiber. Um, the goal uh, in the paperwork and online is um, 200 and, uh, or 550 pounds for the whole package. But we think the camper will be about 220 pounds when it's done. Really? So right now we just, um, took all the back seats out, we put an air mattress in there, built the shell on the outside of the car, and we're gonna be live streaming cutting a Tesla in half. We are here this evening at our little meetup, and I wanted to introduce you guys to Dave, who is the half, one half, one half. of See My Happiness. Poor Tammy, threw her back out. Yeah. And so she's not here tonight, so hi Tammy! We love hi, Tammy, you and we babe. miss you. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to share their channel with you guys and go check out their content. They have been on the road for about six months doing some really cool stuff on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So be sure to give them a little love on social media. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to day three. It's Sunday and we found ourselves over in the vendor section. Wanted to share this really cool product that we have come across today. It's called the Geyser System and it is a highly advanced hot water shower system. You can take a shower two people with a gallon of water. That's yeah. pretty impressive. I'm yeah. really, I want to see this happen. Well, okay, well, <laughs> maybe not here at Expo West. No, maybe not but, at Expo West. <laughs> no, we're in, interested in it because, you know, we have a 40 gallon tank and a lot of times if you're on a beach, yeah. You don't want to just go take a whole shower. You just want to get the sand off yeah. and the salt off. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I can see so many applications with it. Like you mentioned, you can have different um, scrubbers. So like one for each of you and then one for the dishes. And I hate washing dishes in cold water. Oh, really? Um, like I can think of a million applications. Yeah, it's amazing for the outdoor kitchen. Yeah. Also, it has an electric heat source built into the unit. When we get into the nerdy and te technical specs, mm -hmm. it uh, draws from a 12 volt battery stores. All you need is to plug so it into. So you're off the 12 volt. You don't need 110 AC. Nope. You that, don't. That wow, that so just got cool. even better. It and the, the the cable runs 16 feet, so you can have. A hot shower very far away from your RV or your vehicle, and uh, and not create a mud puddle that creates yeah. a muddy situation now in your car. But yeah, when you think about like the biggest problems that we face when getting off the grid, mm -hmm. water is the first thing to run out. It's yeah, the thing solar that always can sends generate you back your home. electricity. <laughs> yeah. Your batteries can store it. Yeah, yeah. The and water will send you packing. The pump mode is really easy. After you heat it, the water just turn on the pump, and then all you have to do is just turn this valve. 
And this is what you're gonna wash yourself off with, is with this scrub here. Finishing up here at Expo West, and we are really excited to be picking up some new product for a company we're gonna partner with, Go Treads. Yep. These are pretty awesome, guys. They are. We so saw these traction at, boards. We saw these at Expo East, and we have literally been thinking about them ever since. <laughs> yeah, and they're also doubling as leveling blocks. Yep. So it's like a great dual purpose. So now we have an excuse to go get stuck. Uh, no. <laughs> Aaron, thank you very much. We look forward You're to. Uh, yes. We're not looking forward to getting stuck, but we're looking forward to showing how well these work. You can level your vehicle and we hope you don't get stuck. Yes. Yeah. Ideally. Well, good morning guys from 7,000 foot in Flagstaff, Arizona. It's a brisk morning. It's day four of Overland Expo 2019 West. There is no day four. No, there isn't. It's actually Monday morning. We uh, just said to stay on the grounds here with a handful of other people but uh yeah we really enjoyed uh the event this year and the approach we're taking is we wanted to share more people uh because i think there's a lot of people showing the vehicles so i think events like this should be more focused about the people you know the people we know the new people we meet and uh i hope you enjoyed you know our take on overland expo west 2019 we want to be sure to give a big thanks to Overland Expo for granting us credentials, media credentials for the weekend, especially to Jessica. She was fantastic to work with. I think that's about it. I think we've covered everything and we're going to try to go home to Alaska. Third time's a charm. If you'd like to come with us, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the road.